¡Eh, eh! ¡Se está corriendo, se está corriendo! ¡Conchalero! I'm 5'3 and it's almost at my shoulder. I feel like I should talk a little bit about the concept and idea that I have for this painting. I thought it would be fun to paint myself and make it have like a little story, but also connected to the viewer. So make the viewer part of the situation going on inside of the painting. Here's the time lapse of the process. I literally had no idea what I was doing at the beginning. So I ended up making three versions of myself in three different perspectives. So. The main one is gonna be me holding a smaller version of the canvas that I'm actually gonna be painting. Then inside that canvas is gonna be painting of me trapped, right? But then the subject holding that painting, they don't understand the situation that's going on. And then there's gonna be two hands, which is the me painting the painting, telling the subject that there's someone trapped in the painting that they're holding. Ay, de verdad. I'll be right back. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is so... And I didn't even do it like down here. No way. Bueno, un recuerdito de, del yeso de... Now time for a cool transition. If it was the lightning yesterday, I don't know if it was because I wasn't paying attention, but why is the arm gray? Why is it green? Why is it blue? Why is it every single color? Like I'm about to cry, we're finally getting somewhere. Wow. wow. Agradecida con el de arriba. Okay, here is a quick time lapse of me putting down all the base colors for the painting. And I remember the underpainting took me so long for no reason. Like I couldn't even finish it that night. I had to continue the next day. So be prepared for the progress pictures that are coming. Here's how it looked and then boom, this was the first layer. I don't know how I had the patience to move on to this and then kept going and it looked like this. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now that's what I call a massive global. Never give up on the ugly stage and push through. Hello everyone. I really don't think I'm gonna be able to finish this before going to college. I have online school. I don't know if I said it before. I'm taking two classes online and I'm having a hard time. But my job ends in two weeks. So that means I'm gonna be free which means I'm gonna be able to paint after my online classes, so. Pero I want to believe that I'm halfway done. Well, it's been a month since I started doing that, but I mean, I went on a trip. I didn't have any time to like work on it, but now recently I caught it up again and even they are here. <laughs> I did end up using the oil pastels for the middle and some acrylics for like the lighter values, little details. Uh, all pastels and acrylics actually really work well together. And what's next is the leg, shadows over here, and then the hands. Today I decided to do this part and I said it wasn't gonna be detailed. Yeah. Um, if I'm honest with y'all, I'm just ignoring the fact that I have to paint this part right there. See so if I can do this hand and then I can call this a success, a productive day. I'm gonna stop talking and get to work. I woke up wanting to do the floor. Like I woke up, went into the floor and I ate. And I need to keep this energy, this motivation for when I do the door. Cause the door is what I'm most scared of. I'm gonna fix this hand. Cause this is just the first coat to like get rid of the burnt sienna underpainting. Hey y'all, it's day. I've been working on this painting almost all day long because I woke up at 5 a.m. today. I was working on the door and the cast shadows. The cast shadows have been so hard. Also, I finished this hand right here. That looks epic. 
I'll keep working on this at night and uh, I'll come with some updates maybe. Update! We are done with the door. Yesterday I spent almost the entire afternoon trying to finish the door and I'm quite happy with the results after complaining for 40 minutes, literal. I'm just gonna do the little design on the tote bag and like the little keychains, which I'm excited for. And then, I really love how this came out. What the I did like some shadows here more depth i did this line that my wall has for some reason and then the feet are too close together and too far i have to like completely change how they're placed it's 11 48 and i am done with the top Yahoo! like the entire half of the paint i'm just working on this this i'm gonna say this but i'm very proud of myself Aww. that's all i have to say <laughs> This is where we're at with the legs. I completely had to repaint that upper part. I'm glad I don't have to paint the toes. I need to learn how to organize the way I paint. Because this, this small situation, would have been 10 times easier if I started from top to bottom. And from background to foreground. No. I wanted to do whatever I wanted and I started painting this hand right here. It was kind of like a practice before I move on to the face. Then hand, then face, and then I went like jumping different places. Do not recommend it. I'm not doing that again for sure. Okay, I honestly don't know why I was so scared to paint this hand because once I got to it, I could not stop. It was so satisfying. It was so fun to paint. And I don't know. And I was so quick with it too. I was enjoying myself, okay? It's one of my favorite parts of the painting. I got new glasses. Today's the day I finished this painting. I'm practically done. I'm just doing another layer here. I'll take a good look now before, before I call it a day. <laughs> Let's do this. how it looks i'm letting it dry Okay, this is how the varnish turned out. This isn't what I was expecting. I, like, I just wanted it to look shiny, not sticky. So that's what we got. I really doubted myself. I did not think I could finish this before going back to school. I guess my idea of this part of the painting looking like a painting worked out. Using all pastels was not something that was in my plans. I'm gonna leave here. What I wrote for this painting, I'll post it on my Instagram, so stay tuned for that. Me and my twin are gonna say goodbye now.